In this example, I need to write the standard form of the equation of the quadratic function whose graph is shown below. Here's the graph, and remember the graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. So quickly reviewing, the standard form of the equation of a quadratic function is f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h all squared plus k. This function has a vertex at the ordered pair hk. If a is positive, the parabola will open up. If a is negative, the parabola will open down. So looking at our graph, we have a parabola that opens down. So I know in this case the value of a had better turn out to be negative. Were we given the vertex in this case? Remember on a parabola that opens down the vertex is the highest point on the graph, this point here. So that is the point with the ordered pair hk. So I now know that h, the x value of the vertex, is at negative 2. k, the y value of the vertex, is at positive 5. So plugging these values into the equation, I get f of x equals a, I don't know what a is yet, times x minus h, x minus a negative 2, all squared plus k, and k was 5. Well, simplifying this expression, minus a negative, you always add the opposite. So that's going to give me f of x equals a times x plus 2 all squared plus 5. The last thing to do is find the value of a, the leading coefficient, I'm going to use this point here, the ordered pair 0, 1. That means when x is 0, y is 1. Or in this case, instead of y, we have f of x. So I have 1 equals a times x is 0 plus 2 all squared plus 5. So 1 equals 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4. So I have 4a plus 5, subtracting 5 from both sides of this equation. I get 1 minus 5 is negative 4, equals 4a, 5 minus 5 is 0. Dividing both sides by 4, these 4s reduce, and I get a equals negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. Does that match what we found originally? Yes, we knew that a should be a negative number, and it is. So I now know the equation of my quadratic function in standard form is f of x equals a, negative 1, we never write negative 1, we just write negative, times the quantity x plus 2, all squared plus 5.